guys just to start us off, what does UNC show on tape that you guys are playing for? Um, I mean, they're, they're great in transition. They are a great rebounding team. Um, they are physical. Um, they, can, they can play aggressive defense. They can play low zone. They keep you off balance and pressure. Um, so they'll, they'll run the gamut at us. What's the status of Tessa Johnson going to this road trip? She's <laughs> good. She's good. She practiced. Is she, she going to play tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> she practiced. I don't know if she's going to practice just to practice. And she wants to practice to play. So, yeah, I, I think she'll get out there. Dawn, is this another challenge for a, maybe a young, less experienced team that you had going on the road for a couple of days, and especially at a place like UNC? Yeah, it's a huge challenge. Uh, we. We, we haven't been in a hostile environment like we're going to be in um, the next two days, I would I would imagine. Um, I thought the highlighters were good this week. Like, they, <laughs> I mean, they were good. They were good. They were hyped. They were, they executed. Um, they made us think about what must happen uh, tomorrow night. Um, so it, it was good. It was good for us to kind of walk away and feel like there's more to do. In order for us to, to, to get a win tomorrow night. Feel good about the makeup of this team that they're, you know, while they haven't been exposed to this very much, that they can overcome things like this and play well outside of this build, uh, your building day. The colonial life or this building? No, the colonial life. <laughs> <laughs> We've overcome this building right here. Good Lord. <laughs> and we're going to have to overcome it again. Um, yeah, I yeah. do. Like, yeah, we have a. Um, I mean, we have experience in Camilla Powell. Um, I mean, Raven's been on this stage before, so nothing's going to rattle her. Um, so we're we're good with that. It's probably the younger ones, the, the Malaysias. The, um, man, I, I think just the freshmen yeah. have, haven't really played on this stage. Everybody else has a, a glimpse of it, maybe not have played in it, but I think they have got enough games under their belt to really understand what we're trying to do. The Tar Heels lost a couple in a row last week. When you go on the road against a ranked team that's coming off a couple of losses, do you expect them to be even more motivated than maybe they already were? I think I think everybody's going to give us our best. Give us their best. Whether they lost to, um, I think they're going to be just as hyped that they had won. I don't think it. Cha I don't think it changes anything as far as how they approach our game. Um, so we'll, we're expecting their best effort. What does Deja Kelly bring to the table for the Tar Heels? Everything. Experience. I mean, three-level score. Um, winner. She wants to win. She wants the ball in her hands. And she wants to make plays, and she did that for them, um, especially the last time we played them. So you know, obviously. She probably likes playing against us. We got to bring it. Doesn't matter. She's not the only one. She, they, they got a team. They got a team full of guards. They got some bigs that are getting healthy. Um, and they're physical. They bring some a physicality to the game that I, I hope we don't have to adjust to, that we know going into it is going to be that way and, and, and hit first. Don, you talk about overcoming this building. Yeah. <laughs> At times, what have you liked about what your team's done in this early part of the year, and what are some things that you still think need to get sharper in Christmas? Um, what I like is they're poised. They don't really get rattled. Um, then some of the things that I do think we need to improve on is just experience. That's one. Two, um, I don't think everybody's comfortable. Everybody that has played is comfortable. So the more comfortable they get, I think, honestly, I think we could be better scorers. Um, our defense is coming along, so I, I know we'll be challenged with, you know, playing fast and transition and ball screen stuff. Um, but we're, we're really getting better in that area, just communicating early and having each other's back. I just hope that, you know, we aren't, that we, that we probably trust a little bit more. It's hard to gauge it here with, with our highlighters, though, because we're always touching them. We're always fouling them. And we don't do that a whole lot in the game. So I'm hoping, I hope that holds true for this, you know, for tomorrow and, and Sunday. Don, you've been very vocal about cheering on the, the men's team and the start to their season. A lot of excitement after last night. How exciting has it been to watch their start to the year? 
mean, I'm happy for Lamont. Happy for his staff. Um, happy that, you know, finally we had some people in the stands that would give them what they need, just the excitement of it. I know they've um, expanded the, the student section. I know the students like that. Um, and it, it looked more like a, you know, 6 and 0 basketball team. Everybody likes winners, so I hope that will force everybody to come out. I think the next game is Friday. It's GW, and um, you know, I mean, there was a lot of talk last year. Well, was he the right guy? Was this or that? I mean, it's hard coming in and, and winning in your first year. That you don't get that. You don't get that. You don't get that a whole lot of places unless you know somebody left a treasure. And usually they're not leaving the treasure. Um, so I thought their their staff have done a great job at putting a, a good group of guys together that that work as a cohesive unit on both sides of the basketball. Anything else, for Coach? Nope. Okay, Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.